Hello my little woolly. In today's tutorial you will learn how to knit with two colors and we are going to practice a super easy stitch pattern called the bird's eye. If you can knit and pull, you can do it. It doesn't matter if you are just starting to knit. I have left some suggestions on my website for you that will help you to be successful when knitting with two colors. So please feel free to go there so woolly.net and take a look. It's a four row repeat pattern and the even rows are plain poor rows. So it's, believe me, really easy to do. Okay, grab your needles, two beautiful colors of yarn and let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on an even number of stitches on the instructions you will read with color A, cast on an even number of stitches. First row, right side of the work, with yarn in back, we are going to slip the first stitch as if to purl or purlwise and knit the next. That's the repeat, what you will find between asterisks on the read instructions. Remember, you can find all my patterns on my website, so will it admit. There is a link for you below this video on the description box just below the title of the video. So, the repeat is slip one as if to purl, knit one, and repeat. Slip one, knit one. Slip one, knit one. Slip one, and knit the last, but only on this first row, knit the last stitch through the back loop. This way we will avoid a huge loop there. Second row, just pull every stitch. Third row, we will need the second contrasting color. Leave a tail, put it behind. And forget about the first color. So, with color B, the repeat is net one, Slip one as if to pour and repeat. Net one, slip one. Net one, slip one. Net one, slip one. Net one, slip one. How do you know if you're doing it right? Well, you should have one stitch in one color and the next in the other color. Row 4. With the same color B, the other one doesn't matter, it's at the other side of the work. With color B, we're going to pull every stitch from the first to the last. Just pull across. When you get to the end, give a little tug to this second color. 
This way we can control the tension. Just that. And now we start from row one again. Put color B at the back and bring color A to your right. And start first row again with yarn in back. Slip the first as if to purl, knit the next. And repeat to the end of the row. Slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit. Turn the work and for the second row we're going to purl every stitch with color A, of course. When you get to the end, don't forget to give a little talk to color B. Now, row three, we won't be needing the color A anymore. So put it behind and work with color B. The repeat is knit one, slip one as if to purl. Knit, slip. Knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip. Turn the work and again with color B, we're going to purl across the row. So purl every stitch. So this is it. These four rows create the pattern. Repeat them until the desired length is reached. When finished, bind off facing the wrong side of the work after a row one with color A, the same color we used to cast on the stitches. And finally, don't forget to block your piece when finished. It will improve the tension of your stitches and it will look just great. And this is it for today, my little Willy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting.